Now with our GMA cover story and Hugh Jackman revealing he is undergoing skin cancer tests. This after his doctor spotted some irregularities during a checkup. Jackman reminding us to stay safe in the sun. Janae is back with that story for us. Good morning again, Janae. Good morning again, Robin. Hugh Jackman has spoken out about skin cancer before and now on social media with that bandage over his nose, as you just saw, as he's awaiting test results, he's speaking out on the subject again. This morning, Tony and Golden Globe Award winning actor Hugh Jackman imploring fans to protect their skin. I just went to my doctor, Dr. Iron, who's awesome, and she just saw little things could be or could not be basal cell, in her opinion. She doesn't know. Revealing on Instagram that he's undergone two biopsies for potentially cancerous cells on his nose. That basal cell carcinoma, a type of skin cancer that causes a bump or lesion to form on your skin, usually on areas that are most exposed to the sun. It's the most common type of skin cancer and occurs most frequently in people over 50. About 2 million new cases are diagnosed every year here in the U.S., but if caught early, it's highly treatable. Basal cell in the world of skin cancers is the least dangerous of them all. The 54-year-old Tony and Golden Globe winner, who was previously diagnosed with basal cell carcinoma back in 2013 and had that growth also removed from his nose, revealed in a 2015 interview with ABC News he believes a childhood spent playing outside without sunscreen to be the culprit. I just remember it was that old school, be home when it's dark, be home for dinner, you know, mom or dad yelling out from the... Then I died. Jackman hoping to spare others from a similar diagnosis with an important reminder. Please wear sunscreen. It is just not worth it. No matter how much you want to tan, trust me, trust me, trust me. Put some sunscreen on. You'll still have an incredible time out there. And as part of his reminder, he said summer is coming, but a reminder that sunscreen is for every season, every day, sunny or cloudy. Experts say use an SPF, and Robin, you are over there with one of them. That's right. Joining us now is board-certified dermatologist Dr. Whitney Bone, a good friend of the program. All right, sunscreen, sunscreen, sunscreen. But there's a difference when it comes to your body and your face. Right, so let's start with the face. You want to think about the face, the neck, and the V of your chest yeah. like they're one cosmetic unit. So many people just stop right at the jawline, and True. that's a big mistake. Now you you want to aim for about a half of a teaspoon for that area. You want to keep reapplying, especially mm -hmm. if you're out in the sun all day. And Robin, those like combination sunscreen makeup products, they're not enough. You really, really need a dedicated sunscreen product, SPF 30 or above, broad spectrum, shock glass full for the body. But I gravitate towards those sun protective fabrics like the rash guards. Mm -hmm. I just think they're so much more convenient. And this is actually yours, isn't it? That one's it? mine. I, I brought it from home. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> what we do in the morning, our routine in the morning. Okay, can morning really all set about the stage. prevention, protection. Yeah. I recommend starting with a vitamin. C antioxidant serum. It can boost the effects of your sunscreen. Then you can put on a moisturizer that's an optional step and then your sunscreen. Okay. All right. Now we know about cancers. Skin can I mean and that's that's serious. But also when we're out in the sun too much, uh, aging, it just really, so is there anything that we can do to turn back the clock a little bit? You actually can reverse signs of aging, wow. what we call photo aging in the skin. So these are retinoids. Retinoids are some of the most powerful ingredients when it comes to really reversing those signs of aging. Mm -hmm. You can get a prescription strength from your dermatologist, or you can look for over-the-counter options like retinol with an O-L and then a newer ingredient out there now called retinal with an A-L. Oh, and whose is this right here? Here, that is yours. Ooh, hmm. It's my retinal. What does it my do? Holy what does grail. it do? It can brighten dark spots, fine lines, wrinkles, elasticity. Just reverses those signs of aging in the skin. Okay, and again, and I'm not just saying it because you hear all of your products. They give us that go, that glow, that bow glow. So thank you, thank you, Dr. Whitney.